Okay. So my friends, I have not seen this at all. Rhyme has been working on it. I have intentionally made it so that he has hid everything from me. Welcome to Real Scale Wings of Liberty. All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. <laughs> All the stats are proper for units of their size. All the costs are proper for units of their size. What's and that? he's assured me that it's beatable. Break it down. At least as far as he's gotten in development so far, because he's still your working on the end of it. <laughs> We're gonna... What do our Marines do? 35 HP, 5 damage, 4 range. Jim Rainer, 10 damage, 6 range, and 100 HP. These guys are really, really weak. Sounds Thank like you guys, all the subs. I really appreciate it. Hario, Loopy, Mr. K is awesome. I believe Ace subbed earlier. This is going to be the worst. Oh, there's one thing that I should state before we get into this. Everything is real scale until we get to Engine of Destruction, at which point air units are getting scaled down because they literally take up the entire screen and you can't see anything. Once you get to, like, BCs. So... They, uh, all the air units will be proper scale with respect to each other, but then they will be a little bit smaller than they would be compared to, like, the infantry, if that makes sense. It's literally, because it's one of those things that's funny once, and then you don't want to go through half of a campaign not being able to see anything. Hello, Gauntlet Wizard, and, uh, Seekirk Toast, thank you guys for the subs. We had Jim to be tanking these shots, by the way. They're so tiny. Sounds like a plan. I love it. And Jim is halfway dead from two Marines. That's not good. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Oh, Rhyme did the thing. So we have to run this through the editor. And oh, those Vikings are huge. Then it's time to call oh, no. special delivery we talked about. Get them, boys. I'm going to do all the bonus objectives and stuff because why not? <laughs> That is a big old Minsky boy. Even though it has defenders and it gives no benefit, so I shouldn't be doing this on this mission. Reiki, thank you for the five tier one subs. Raiders roll. Raiders the man. Gangway. What's the plan? Sounds like a plan. Also, don't want to be creating you that can hit enemies based on the production facility. Speak for yourself, there, bud. Will the APC be good? Oh no. <gasps> Look, it gave. It gave so, friends! It Ryan made the bonus objective actually do something in this mission like it should! That probably uh, means that this is the only way that this is possible, huh? Because I don't see a way that we're going to break through the NPC and the Vikings without all these Marines, so I'm glad that he changed this. We're going to wait for all the boys. Because I didn't notice these. I was too busy being in awe of everything that's going on. Oh, it's not that big. No, it's not that... Oh, he's got vultures. Ryan, why you add vultures? Sell me. Talk to me. So apparently things are a Count little bit different me. in this campaign. Good to know. Sell me. This better be Break it down. So I can't just blindly assume based off of roll. my knowledge of the campaigns, which is for the best, I believe. Holy, <laughs> they do so much damage! <laughs> they too shot the Marines! Okay. I think the civilians are properly sized. Like, power armor's big. And I trust Rhyme to have gotten it right. He's a smart boy. I do find it funny that they, like, come out of the statue. So we got the firebomb, guys. Ugh, that's a lot. Never mind. So the thing I'm scared the most of, obviously, are the Vikings. I'm going to clear all these so that we get the civilians to help us. Oh, they're so big! <laughs> and they have the bones versus mechanical, which is interesting. Like, see the void dependency. Yeah, kill those civilians. Commit those war crimes and don't murder me. Thank you. I love this already. This is great. All right, now I do have to load every single map up in the editor to jump to the next one, so I will do that. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. It does take a couple seconds to load Things maps, though. Only control you if you let him. There we go. 
and it may freeze every once in a while while we're doing that. Oh, look at how chunky they are. Oh, these are big boys. <laughs> how much? They have 100 HP. They do 10 damage. Boys can be pulled in this for value. 55 minerals, 25 for a marine. Nice. These are cheap marines. Though they kind of suck, so it makes sense. Oh, this is amazing. So my plan here is I'm going to wait for the first attack, deal with it, go over, grab the outpost, and then, I don't know, figure things out from there. Let's uh, move this. I want a good defensive setup for the first attack. So I'm going to do something like this. 55 mineral SCVs is a lot, though. I mean, every 10 SCVs, I'm basically losing an SCV. Okay. So they're going to attack at some point fairly early. I'll be able to see them approach, I believe. Medics don't have armor. That makes sense, but I believe that's different from the main game. So I'll have to keep that in mind. They're not much more bulky than the Marine. They do have more HP. No, this map is not available yet. We're effectively beta testing it right now because it is sure to be incredibly broken. And then probably once it, uh, once a functional version, oop, hello. Once a functional version exists, then it'll be available for everybody to play. It's kind of like the randomizer, though, where I have to suffer so you guys can have a good play experience. Ooh, that's not very much. All right, boys, let's go. So Marines are even more glass cannony than they usually are, which is going to be really weird. Actually, they cost a lot of supply, though, and they're not that good, now that I think about it. Okay. That fight did not go as well as Grant wanted it to. Wow, okay. I was planning on using this for medics over here, but holy. Yeah, Marines just might not scale too well into this game. Oh, Marine is auto-castable. Why is Marine auto-castable? Does it just build them forever? Well, damn, it does! Oh, Marines and Medics are half a supply. Let me see. Um, I'm going to turn Autocast off. I don't like it. I know that it's one of those things is like quality of life or whatever, but it's going to make me lazy, and I don't need to be more lazy than I already am in life. So we should be able to rescue these guys. There's going to be a lot of guys in the hole, because there always are. But no medics here. Pretty nice. So things can go be uh, beyond the normal armor amount, right? Like, normally three is the highest base armor in the game. Which means that that is one way that Marines are going to start sucking as time goes on. It's Rainers, boys. But right now, this feels pretty strong. I guess we haven't fought anything besides smaller groups of bio, so... I shouldn't speak too soon. There is a bunker that's probably going to be pretty rough. How many guys can you fit in a bunker in this, I wonder? And then, yeah, there's going to be a siege tank that's going to destroy my entire life. I'm gonna go. We're gonna see. This is a lot of units. So there's the Hellions that come up here. Ooh, they got- whoa, that is a long-range fire thing for their size. Looks like bunkers are basically the same thing. 
They're pretty unchanged. You're not fitting like 10 guys in a bunk. Oh, those Hellions hurt so bad. All right, let's go get him. <laughs> let's take over. Let's go. Starcraft one tank right there. <laughs> also, the AI knows how to repair these Hellions. Oh, uh, we need more guys. Let's see if we can take out this barracks to stop them from reproduce. <laughs> this is so amazing. Oh, I love this. Okay. Tank. Let's just get up here, kill this other production. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to pull the boys to kill the tank. I think, hundred HP. We need to see how much damage this tank does. It's probably like a hundred and fifty. Oh, how ridiculous! Hellions do twenty versus light. Okay, we're waiting for the boys. For anyone who wasn't here at the very beginning, SCVs do have 100 HP. They're going to be very important in this run. Okay, space construction vehicle. Let's see if your space tank vehicle. Siege tank does 88 damage. 73 kills! Well, that was mission two. Already harder than all in on Brutal. Crane controls access. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Uh, I never get when people are like, yeah, the dig is going to be absolutely trivial when they see the siege tank. What do you think the Colossus is going to do, dude? <laughs> The Colossus is going to be able to shoot halfway across the map. It's going to be so scary. I'm not the only one who gets real scale. They're going to send carriers on that map, you know. <laughs> oh, look, you start with an actual economy in this game. Oh, these bunkers are so bad. Okay, so we're going to do this here, we're going to do this here, and this is going to be where we truly get to experience the Zerg Swarm, isn't it? It's going to be insane. How many trillions of Zerglings are there going to be? I think the mission that I'm least looking forward to, in that I know that I'm going to get absolutely destroyed on it, is Welcome to the Jungle. The first one that you fight the Protoss with the- it's not the first, but... You fight the Protoss for the Terrazine? That's gonna be insane. I hope that Rhyme made Zero Hour good. I mean, obviously, I never even asked him to change anything like that, but this is already blowing my expectations way out of the water. I'm so impressed. So Zerglings have 25, deal 5 damage. Roaches seem pretty tanky. Hydralisk's not that bad. Because that's the first attack wave, it's always a freebie. And we're gonna head this way and grab the rescue guys. I have no idea how big a Muta is, honestly. I don't know how big a lot of things are in StarCraft. Okay, we got our friends. Thought we were gunners there. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Probably five racks. Five racks seems good. And then I don't remember where they attack from or anything on this mission, so we're going to learn together. Why do I only have eight SCVs on minerals? 
I need Chrono Boost, dude. I don't know why I'm playing this race. Protoss is obviously superior. I'm really looking forward to uh, if I can convince Rhyme to make a Legacy of the Void and Heart of the Swarm ones. Oh no. Uh, Starcraft 2 is not responding. I'm going to wait a sec and see if it starts responding. Rip. No, I don't want to send the program or the problem to Microsoft. They don't care. <laughs> All right, let's retry this. I mean, this is working through the editor. Sometimes things break. We're going to do, yeah, this is why we're beta testing it. Thank you, fake Mr. HD, for the 10th month sub. Send it to Steam. <laughs> Alright, can you guys see the game? Is it working properly on OBS this time? Yeah, it looks like it. And tell me that you can hear stuff, too. I just gotta make sure that the audio is also functional. I'm not gonna get gas this time, because I got gas and then I had no minerals. And I don't like that. This better be good. We can hear? Perfect. Oh, double yes as in yes and yes, not double audio. Got it. Let's sell these to get some infrastructure up earlier. Here and here and there. Interesting. So these guys don't make a sound when you click to build something. Like, usually it throws down a boo sound when you click to build a building. They don't do that today. Eli Zorox, thank you for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. Uh, I absolutely... Elizer Kozik. There we go. I think I got your name better that time. Second time's the try. Let's try and not take damage. I, I like to think that the game just crashed because I mismanaged my economy so terribly at the beginning of the last mission. It's like, mm, try again. How tanky are these? 1,000 HP, 400 HP. Man, bunkers suck. Why does anyone build this? To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please assist. Been waiting on you. So we learned there's a lot of guys right here. More than normal. Hydras are pretty tanky. I'm pretty sure what they did for that guy's voice line was they had him drink a glass of water. <laughs> and then they were like, okay, do that thing where you go, ah, after you drink a glass of water, and then say you were goners there. Because it definitely sounds like he was just very parched and then refreshed. Okay, here's the next attack wave. This seems to be a crash point. Yeah, it crashed again at the same point. I'm going to move to the next mission then. Nobody really likes Zero R anyway. It's 316 both times, so there's some trigger that's breaking the game there. Which means that it probably won't go to the next mission, but we don't get to see the full-scale Hyperion, which is sad.